We are happy to say that the ELA instructional guides have been updated for kindergarten through fifth grade for the 2019-2020 school year. Multiple considerations were taken into account as the previous planning support tools went through extensive revisions to become the new ELA instructional guides, including focusing on standards-based instruction, including alignment of the daily focus standard, questions, and tasks for greater clarity, developing knowledge about different types of text and knowledge of the world around us, providing resources and suggestions for differentiating instruction for striving and advanced learners, utilizing feedback provided from teachers in the classroom on how to best support instruction in a rigorous but manageable way, considering the format of the document to facilitate ease of use, ensuring that suggestions provided are appropriate for the needs of learners within that age and developmental range, while providing opportunities for students to engage with a variety of authentic texts for different purposes. When you navigate the ELA Instructional Guide site within the Elementary Language Arts Conference and Ideas, You'll notice that the left side of the site contains a variety of grade-specific resources. You can click here to access resources that will be useful all year long to support standards-based planning and the development of reading and writing behaviors. The standards-based planning tool is a very helpful tool to use at planning sessions, as it contains not only the standard, but the questioning task cards, item specs, and achievement level descriptors for each standard. The Standards Implementation Guide was recently released from Just Read Florida and has a wealth of information about our standards. Also, be sure to check out the updated instructional focus for each grading period. The instructional focus is an at-a-glance document that provides a quick overview of the entire grading period. It includes important dates and events for the grading period, the texts referenced during each week of instruction, the focus standards for each week to support backwards planning, and the focus for various components of the ELA block, including word study and writing. In the ELA Instructional Guide site within the Elementary Language Arts Conference and Ideas, you'll notice that the middle of the site contains folders for the updated instructional guides. You can click here to access the new ELA Instructional Guides for the 2019-2020 school year. When you open the instructional guides, you'll notice many changes as well as some familiar portions. We are still advocating that during the first four weeks of school, you discuss norms, including movement, collaboration, student roles, teacher roles, and expectations for communication as you introduce the Reader's Workshop components. The lesson suggestions within the Establishing a Literacy Classroom portion of the guides are critical to setting the culture for learning, expectations, structures, and routines for student independence that will impact the effectiveness of instruction throughout the year. The amount of time focused on this each day will vary according to the needs of your students. The lessons in this section can take place during the time that you would typically dedicate to guided reading and independent reading, as they are focused on building student independence and agency in the classroom. Whenever possible, the skills, mindsets, and habits learned during these lessons should be explicitly reinforced during your shared reading lessons. There are suggestions provided for week five as a way of reinforcing the literacy classroom and encouraging student independence. These lessons are intended to be quick mini lessons to help your readers stay on track and monitor their own learning. Look for these suggestions to reappear after winter break as a way of reestablishing expectations and setting the stage for learning. There is a note in week six to suggest the continued use of the reading strategies book as mini lessons to be responsive to student behavior and learning needs during the year in order to maintain the strong literacy environment and culture for learning. There are several key resources referenced throughout these sections, including the lessons from getting started with independent reading, the first 20 days for second through fifth, the first 20 days establishing productive group work in the classroom by Fisher and Fry, and the reading strategies book. Look for suggestions from these resources in other places throughout the instructional guides as well, especially the reading strategies book. The first 20 days establishing productive group work in the classroom can be accessed through a hyperlink in the instructional guides. Copies of the Reading Strategies book by Jennifer Saravallo have been provided to each school site through the site-based reading coach, reading and writing resource teachers, and reading and writing teacher leaders. Please reach out to these teacher leaders at your school site for access to the strategy lessons in this wonderful resource. One major focus during the revision process for each grade level was to provide supports for teacher clarity. 
Look for these tips at the beginning of each instructional guide. The Launching the Learning section provides language for setting the purpose for learning and communicating the learning goals with students. The Compelling Question for Learning anchors the purpose for reading throughout the week. It is designed to be proposed to the students at the beginning of each week and then reflected on throughout the week as students read through texts. The Instructional Notes to Consider section seeks to build the teacher understanding of the content with the ELA standards, as well as thoughts to consider if teachers choose to alter the text suggestions. Teacher clarity is also supported throughout the rest of the document. You will notice that within the comprehension section, there is a clearly outlined standards-based weekly focus. For each day of instruction, daily suggestions are provided along with the focus standard and the secondary standards that are directly connected to the daily instructional target. While the focus of instruction, questions, and student tasks are designed around the focus standard, it is crucial for teachers to plan with the supporting standards in mind. Text-dependent questions, teacher language, and instructional moves are suggested along the way with ways of assessing student learning throughout exit ticket items and daily tasks. The exit tickets are a combination of FSA-style questions and brief written responses, as both are equally important for assessment of learning. There are more FSA-style exit tickets included with the updates, and the printable versions can be found in weekly resources. It is important to remember that these exit tickets are modes of formative assessment that should be used to measure learning and differentiate instruction in future lessons. In the third grade instructional guides, the beginning of year instruction is focused on laying a foundation for the standards in Cluster 1 for both stories and informational texts. The texts were purposely chosen not only to lay a foundation for the standards, but also to build classroom community and create a culture for lifelong learning. Metacognitive strategy instruction is still embedded throughout these lessons with the opportunities for students to make predictions, ask questions, clarify understanding, and recount key details. Many weeks are connected through a common topic and a similar compelling question. It may be helpful to read the two week units together to develop an understanding of the course of instruction over several weeks. We begin the year by learning about traits that can be beneficial to our class community. Then we switch gears and think about, through text, what personality traits help people have an impact on life. Students will think about this through the lens of scientists and engineers, and then through sports players. In weeks five and six, students will learn about how scientists research and communicate about extreme environments. These texts were purposely chosen for these weeks to align with the ENW unit in writing, starting in week six. At the end of the nine weeks, students will examine the text of Roberto Clemente with a close lens, first by reading what the text is offering us by what the author says, then reading portions of the text to think about the words the author chooses, and then by thinking about the illustrations and how they add meaning to the text and portions of the text. Instruction will continue right into week 10 as students apply their learning with more independence and additional biographies. Please look closely at weeks 8 through 10 and think about how to best adjust your days of instruction to account for reading interim 1. Another major change with the instructional guides is the inclusion of suggestions and resources for differentiated instruction targeted towards advanced learners as well as striving learners. These suggestions and resources support students as they access and build background knowledge, develop content knowledge, engage in discussion, and respond to their learning. They are intended to be a menu of choices that will fit your students' needs and not a checklist of activities. You'll see references to the ALDs, Myon suggestions, readers' response opportunities, journeys leveled readers, and vocabulary supports. Suggestions for above-level readers are found in the top section. Suggestions for striving readers, or below-level and ELL readers, is found in the bottom section. We use the term striving readers to honor the fact that all students strive to be successful readers and the struggle is situational for these learners. This terminology helps to instill a growth mindset within students. The new ELA instructional guides support a balance between comprehension instruction and foundational skill instruction. Students need both to be successful and if we ignore either, we are not developing balanced readers. Students need to know both how to think about the text and how to read the text. There are now explicit suggestions for vocabulary instruction that are connected to the weekly texts. 
There are suggestions that are designed to help students become more word conscious and expand their knowledge of tier two words. There are also suggestions for determining the meaning of literal and non-literal words within a text. It is important to embed these strategies in modeling for shared reading and question students during the guided practice and application portion of shared reading. Some weeks have FSA style vocabulary questions that could be used during shared reading and or as an additional exit ticket. Research shows that phonics instruction should be explicit and arranged systematically in a sequence of less complex to more complex concepts. In second grade, students were taught the most common syllable patterns in both single syllable and multisyllabic words. In third grade, instruction will extend the knowledge of syllable patterns in reading multisyllabic words. The reading big word strategy will be referenced frequently. This strategy helps students to recognize affixes within the words in order to break long words into familiar chunks. The less chunks a student needs to make within a word, the more cognitive energy the student will have to devote to comprehension of the text. You will notice some suggestions for iReady tools for instruction routines to focus on decoding three to five syllable multisyllabic words within the texts. Instruction will also focus heavily on prefixes and suffixes and will be tightly aligned to the vocabulary with morphology or the learning the meaning of the roots. Our language arts resources have been updated to include what you see here, including more of what you requested regarding ready to copy shared sequential and sequential sets. Also, a greater alignment is seen across reading and writing through the language standards application and lesson samples are provided in the first week for each grade level. These include detailed think alouds and modeled writing examples to enhance student understanding and application. You'll notice on this slide that the writing essentials column on the week four instructional guide is shown. This week suggests using a shared sequential set focused on an opinion piece with the topics of Australia or South America. You'll also notice changes on our instructional guides can be seen with the specific examples of writer's craft connected directly to the standards and pulled from the text used in Reader's Workshop. Also, some language standards information is enhanced with the Khan Academy video links for you and or your students. In the ELA instructional guide site within the Elementary Language Arts Conference in Ideas, you'll notice that the right side of the site contains folders for weekly resources. You can click here to access weekly resources mentioned within the instructional guides. You'll find all sorts of supports, including exit tickets, printable versions of my on text, strategy supports, word study resources, and some graphic organizers. This is where you will also find any writing resources, including shared sequential and sequential sets for the week. In weeks where there are many resources in the folder, you will find additional folders at the top that contain all of the resources for that topic. For example, on week one, all of the reciprocal teaching resources are in the reciprocal teaching folder within weekly resources. Remember, ELA instructional guides are intended to provide guidance and support. You will need to make instructional decisions based on the needs of your students. The detail provided in the instructional guides should allow for more time during planning to be devoted to discussing differentiation and resources to meet student needs, as well as guided reading. Please note that the suggestions within these guides are limited to the resources that everyone has access to, like Journeys and Myon. Teachers have the flexibility to select alternative texts based on student needs, but need to consider the quality and complexity of the text, as well as the alignment with the standards. We are so excited to be able to provide you with these freshly updated supports. Always read the text prior to planning sessions for the most effective planning. The ELA instructional guides have lots of new information and embedded support. So download or scroll, print or scroll, and start reading. If you have any questions about the third grade instructional guides, as you dig in and begin reviewing the changes, be sure to check out the notes section at the end of each instructional guide for important clarifications and collaborate with members of your site-based literacy team as you decide how to use the supports offered. Additionally, you can post questions to the Elementary Language Arts Conference in Ideas or contact Kathleen Sicarello, Academic Coach for Elementary Reading and or Tamisha Creed, Supervisor of Elementary Writing in Ideas. 
We hope you have a wonderful 2019-2020 school year.